Hello gorgeous, my name is Jen. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I achieve this look using a lot of Chantecaille products. So if you're interested in watching, let's get started. To begin, I'm going to start with a full coverage foundation. This is not a Chantecaille foundation. I will be telling you all the products from the brand that I will be using in this video and the products that are not. Either way, all the products from Chantecaille will be in the description box down below. Applying a little bit of concealer under my eyes and using the same concealer as an eye base. And with my beauty blender, I'm going to go ahead and blend. Once the foundation is applied, I'm going to set it with this finishing blurring powder. This powder is currently unavailable, but it will be coming back this year. And what I love about this powder is that it leaves the same finish of the foundation. It doesn't mattify or dulls the, in the uh, foundation. So if you like doing foundations and you want to set your foundation and keep it, still do it. Dewey, 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 this is the foundation for you. This is the powder for you. My goodness, sorry. For the eyes, I'm gonna start with this beautiful quad. It's a hummingbird quad. It's from a past collection. And it looks like this. It's very pretty. I'm going to be using the lightest color, which is a pinky shade, to cover my entire lid. These shadows are very creamy and I love the pigmentation. They stay on for a very long time because sometimes there's some eyeshadows that just, um, they could, could be pigmented at the beginning and then throughout the day they just disappear. It's like the weirdest thing that, ha hap that, um, that has happened to me with other brands. And, um, so far with Chantecaille, they stay all day long. I think it would be the same thing as with the lipsticks, that sometimes I can wear some lipsticks that will stay all day and then I can wear another lipstick that it would just, it feels like my, my lips or my skin is just absorbing the whole color. So um, the same thing happens to me with my eyelids, with some brands. But now with Chantecaille. I will be using this taupey color to give the finishing to my brow and take a look at this. I didn't even swipe it that hard and the color payoff, it's incredible. It's really, really nice. I'm just going to go really lightly. I'm not really... I'm taking the brush and going deep into the skin. I'm just barely tapping because it is very pigmented. Just to make sure that you apply the product a little bit at the time. This is easier to build the product than to actually take away product once you have too much. So I always suggest to go easy on the darker colors and just if you know that the brand is very if, if you know that the shadow is very pigmented just to leave it um, just to work it and build it up versus just doing one big swipe unless you're doing like a smoky eye and you know that you're gonna use a very heavy color here then I would do it but if it's something like just to define the eye or to build a color or to mix several colors I would go very easy Then with my finger, I'm going to take this color right here. Let me see. Let's see. It's beautiful. I'm not really sure if the camera is picking it up. So that color is going to go in the center of the eye. But be because of the uh, formula, these type of colors are best to 
be applied with a finger and not with a brush. And we are gonna tap. It has a beautiful sparkle. It's not a chunky sparkle, it's very elegant. It's, I would say it's a duochrome shadow because when you turn it a certain way, the shadow goes from pink to, it has a little bit of golden and I see also a little bit of green. It's a very interesting color. Now with a deep red color, I'm gonna deepen my crease. Again, just by giving a small touch. I'm gonna go in the outer corner. and add a little definition to the eye. With the same brush that I used at the very beginning to do the pink shade all over my lid, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna brush up to blend the dark, the dark color that I just put in just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and that I also get a little bit of the color all the way up here without being so dark. For the bottom lash, I will be using the single shadow, the Elephant, and this is a beautiful shade. I have used this all over the eyelid, and it's gorgeous. It has a beautiful sparkle, but this time we're just going to use it in the bottom lash. This color is very interesting because when you use it with a brush, it gives you that soft look it still has a little sparkle but it's very soft now when you use it with your finger this is what you're gonna get in the lid and I just did two quick swipes it is stunning and this was I just did like one two times and that's it that's the payout that you get and now if you want to use if you want to have more intensity you just have to do another swipe and it gets more intense so this shadow works if you want to get an intense look on the eye or if you just want to use it very softly very softly underneath the eye I'm gonna apply mascara lashes and brows and I'll be right back I was waiting <laughs> I'm going I was going to use uh, false lashes but this mascara is pretty amazing it's a brand new one I am going to wait and see how it works for a few times before I tell you guys about it but it looks amazing my lashes look like the false lashes that I was gonna apply today I'm using for bronzer a bronzer from Revlon this is the skin light skin lights from Revlon and it's not a Chantecaille bronzer but they do have the same ingredients so I don't know it's up to you I'm gonna leave both bronzers in the description box below and you can choose to try both or either or for blush, I'm going to be using this adorable blush that is called Smitten. It's so cute. It has a shiny in the center and then the other parts are matte. But I think the first layer is just what's really shiny. So we shall see. This is the first time that I'm going to be trying it. How awesome is this packaging? I'm gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna dab to see what type of payout is gonna be. Beautiful. It looks so nice. That's a beautiful finish. I think I have enough for this side a little bit. Wow. Yep, just as I imagined. So the super shiny um, center of the elephant is gone. And let's see, just with two dabs. 
and just tap in very gently. It's a beautiful finish. It's really delicate, but you do have to be careful because it's also very pigmented, but I really like it. For highlighter, I'll be using one from the same line, the Skin Lights, and it's also made in Italy, just like the bronzer, and this is what it looks like. I think it comes in three shades, and this is the one that I got. This is 201. For the lips, I'm going to go a lot stronger because the eye is so simple that I could afford to go with a really dark color for my lips. For the lip liner, I will be using this one. The color is Effect. And for the lipstick, I'm going to be using Elderberry. And it looks like this. It's a gorgeous berry color if you have any questions regarding the makeup or the skincare line from chantacal i suggest to speak to ramiro aceron he has been my chantacal advisor for many months now and he knows the brand or like the back of his hand i really appreciate all the help and i'm sure you will too I just realized that I have applied like a thousand layers of this lipstick and honestly with one or two swipes it's enough. I just really like applying makeup so I guess a little, I went a little bit overboard but um, honestly you don't need a lot. I was just going crazy a little bit. To finish I'm going to apply this rose water. This could be applied at the beginning of the makeup or at the end of the makeup. It can also be applied throughout the day to freshen up. I have all my white hair on this side now and none of this side. See? <laughs> it looks like I made it up, but I really didn't. I mean, honestly, those are mine. I didn't have them made. Okay, let's see. Okay. Grays on this side. Grays on this side. And we are ready to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you got to know a little bit of the brand if you didn't know it already. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. You've seen mostly Chantacile, 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 Chantacile. I'm going to make a look. Hello, <clears throat> Serious business. Hello. Thank you so much for coming. Good night. For highlight, for highlight, late, if the, sorry. it can damage the whole work that you've done so far. That I've done so far. Makeup and to refresh without the day. Without, throughout the day.